Last time on Sea of Stars. Look, someone's over there. Oh my, these little surprise animations are so beautiful. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to another episode of The Sea of Stars on the PlayStation 5, right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on yet another Sea of Stars video. In the last episode, we got here to this, I don't, it's the village of moles, man. It's the stone something, stone outpost, stone mate. Listen, there's moles here, but they have an issue with a, with a evil earth wizard named Mal Mal Malkamud who has uh, stopped the wind from flowing through the mountain which would wake up the sleeper which is this giant dragon on the island and if he wakes up they said it will be the end of the world so um no big deal or anything but but that's that's what we're here to do friends and I hope that we will be able to do so we were able to start in on the dungeon just a little bit uh and we're going to hopefully finish it off in today's episode hey huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres of these episodes and an even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash missile dine online and leaving likes and comments and all that stuff because i really do want to uh keep doing these videos and um this is my full-time job y'all so so uh so i hope i hope you're liking these if you're not let me know too all right, let's jump down and continue with the dungeon. Good thing there's no fall damage, I guess because we're solstice warriors. I Listen, I don't know. Also, there is a bunch of things that we cannot interact with yet in this dungeon, and I believe that we are about to unlock a very cool skill that will allow us to not only traverse the dungeon and unlock these puzzles, but also... Maybe backtrack and get some puzzles. All right, so we have these new enemies that we discovered in the last episode, these drill bats, and as well as the ants that we have to deal with. We're gonna go ahead and focus on the ants so that it does not summon. That is more important, I think, than anything else at the moment. And then we're gonna go ahead and use Garl here to, he's gonna boost and he's gonna smack this drill bat. Perfect. So at least that's going to be a little less damage when it happens. Also, you'll notice you actually have three blocks with the uh, the drill bats there when they go to pounce on you, which I think is pretty cool. They are also weak to physical damage, which is good for us. Go ahead and pull that boost in so that she can break a little bit of that block. And we're going to go ahead and switch to our boy Zale here, who's going to use a big sunball to finish these bats. There's the right timing. Goodbye, bats. Unfortunately, we don't really have... We can solar rain, but it's only one of us. Yeah, why not? Oh my gosh. 107 damage from that? I wonder if it's because if it does more damage, if there's only one enemy there... Right here, we can find a hidden chest, which is going to have yet another rainbow conch. We are now up to two of those, the collectible that we get throughout the game. So we are at the deepest point of this mine as well. We can't go any further. So let's uh, see if we can find this Malkamood guy. Ooh, neat. This dungeon, this is our first like real dungeon that we've been able to do. And I am a big fan. Like, I cannot wait to be able to just get further into this game, y'all. Spending all day today to record, so we're we're gonna record a few videos. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't miss anything super important. Somebody's like, oh, Corey, wait, you gotta go back and do that thing. You missed it, you idiot. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. But we can't jump back over there. Huh. Weird. All right. See, I think eventually we're going to be able to move these blocks. I was thinking that maybe that lady that we saw with the daggers was going to be important to moving that stuff, but I think now it is something else. Something that we actually saw in the demo that I still don't want to spoil, just in case people missed it. We're not able to get that chest yet because we can't move that big old block. But I do think, uh, yeah, like that's not going to let us. We'll just be able to jump off and not across. 
And we were able to get in the last episode some weapon upgrades for Zale and our boy Garl. But we were not able to get any for Valerie yet. We could have bought one, but I feel like they'll probably give one to us for free. You know, you know the you know how RPGs tend to do that. We do have a rest here, a camp, and a save point. Let's go ahead and um, let's set up camp here. Just in case. We can hop down here. It looks like we're not going to be able to get past this. Going to be a little bit of a backtracky dungeon, it looks like. Oh, surely this is going to be a boss fight. Ooh, wait. Maybe not. Maybe we just get a big old chest. We got the Mistral Bracelet. Press square to release bursts of wind that can push blocks. Y'all... This is what I was talking about. So we actually had this in the demo as soon as you started playing it, uh, even though we didn't actually have it yet. And like at that point, because the demo started, the, the point is we didn't have that. So I wonder where that item must just be in our, in our key items here. Yep. The Mistral Bracelet. Press square for concentrated bursts of wind. We can fart out of our hands, y'all. Just what I, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. See, I knew we were going to get that soon. Uh-oh. What was that noise? Uh, something's coming. Oh, the salamander they told us about. Yep, salamander. Wouldn't be... You got to... Listen, you got to have salamanders, right? All right, so we have two attacks here. So I think the best way to do this is to... We're going to attack with our boy, Garl. Perfect. And then our girl Valir here is going to boost and attack. Perfect. We were able to break the lock. Weak to moon, it looks like. Let's go ahead and sunball right out of the gate. Oh, the music here is so good. 57 damage to Salamander. Go ahead and moonerang. Remember, we got to spend our MP so that we can rebuild our MP. Ah, oh, did not get it going long enough there. I don't think we're going to be able to hurl this guy, so let's just smack him, get some boost. Weak to magic, which is good to know. Woo! Actually does not do as much damage as you would think. We're going to build up our boost here. All right, Garl, you ready? That's our... Oh, he's is he already looking low? Get a good block there. And I think what we're going to do here is... Unfortunately, I can't switch to anybody. We do have Solstice Strike to regenerate some MP. And I think we're actually going to use that here. In fact, let's boost that. Oh, yeah! Salamander taken out like it was nothing! Oh, it ran away. Oh, I'm sorry now. Doubt it's the last we'll see of that one. Let's be on our guard. Well, I was expecting that to be like a little juicier of a boss fight, but I guess that was just the first iteration of said boss. Interesting. And we were able to... So we can jump across. And now, friends, we do have access to this. Oh, yeah. Give me puzzles, baby. Give me puzzles. Simple. Uh mechanics here, but... Ah, okay. So now we know that we can do that with the puzzle that we also saw er way earlier in the Moorlands. Probably to get that rainbow conch that was hidden. And this one we can push. We can push it up there. And we can grab this chest, which is going to have... Uh, come on. This is going to have Valir's weapon, right? Nope, but we got a mines key, which is going to be another... A wind emblem is engraved on it. Another key item there that we can use. I don't think there was anything else we could do on this side, right? There sure wasn't, so let's just continue on. See what we can do. Hop down here. We do have another... Uh, let's see. So we can't actually hop down there just yet. Which is odd. Let's go ahead and blow this down. Perfect. I don't think there was anything else up here that we could blow. I love it. 
I'm so glad we finally have, uh, well, I mean, we've had some puzzles, but now we have just, just a little more robustness that we can do here. So there is a chest down there. We're going to deal with that. Some tomatoes and peppers. Unfortunately, not able to get the attack. Oh, that was too bad. That was funny, but uh, not able to get the attack on the the enemy there because I was pick I got the pepper instead. All right, so we'll take out ants first, so we don't have to worry about those. Get them close together with that hurl. So I actually think the way that that works is you only need to hit one of those blocks, oddly enough. All right, so we have two here, so what we're gonna do is hit with Valir, and then this way Zael can boost and hopefully break this lock. Perfect! Not only break the lock, but destroy the enemy as well. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. 192 XP, we are about to level up. I don't think there's much I could do to avoid that at this point. And another teal amber ore. And three tomatoes. Yeah, so you can see the wind is coming in through those. And that's creating a melody that's keeping that dragon asleep. We don't want that dragon to wake up. At least right now. My cabbages! I'm, I am curious if, like... Maybe the dragon will wake up at some point in our journey here. This is going to be a little bit of a fight, so let's actually use some items here just to heal up. Uh, we'll use, yeah, we'll use one of those. I don't have anything for MP, but that's okay. I do wish Zale had some more MP going into this fight, but we will do what we can. Okay, that is a lot of locks. Like I said, the most important thing I think at this point is we need to stop the ant from summoning. Great. And then we will use uh, Garl to attack the bush shrew. is, uh, that, that move hurts, but it's not that big of a deal. We're going to boost here on Zale. And then Zale is going to attack the Bush Shrew. 62% power on that. It's a lot easier to get the timing on that one, I've noticed. Yeah, you only need to block those drill butts once to get the most out of that. We'll go ahead and Moonerang here on... Oh, it doesn't really matter. Let's just Moonerang. Woo! Taking out the ant right away. Sun damage that hits all enemies. I think at this point, this is actually what we're going to do. I think we'll rock, we'll rock this. I actually really like this combo. And then Zale will be able to take this out, no problem. Don't have to worry about breaking the lock on that. Maybe you do need to actually hit all of those. We are free to do a nourish here if we so choose. Go ahead and delete that one. And then our girl Valir here should be able to kill this. Great. And we will level up, which means we get another bonus points. Oh yeah, let's see what we can do. Not the best choices for, I feel like, but we do have uh, magic defense, physical defense, hit points, and mana. This is a little bit tougher of a choice here to pick for Zale, I feel like, because I don't really care about his defenses, like I said, or health. And mana, I feel like we just don't get enough to make it worthwhile. But he actually won't get any mana at all on this level up unless we pick a bonus stat. So I think we'll we'll at least do that. 
And for Valir, we have another option where I think her defenses are just too low and we want to focus on her attacks no matter what. So I think we're actually here going to give her uh, more magic attack. And Garl, our tank, is definitely going to pick. You know, I feel like physical attacks and hit points are still pretty good for him. We're going to go ahead and give him physical attack. He gets the biggest bonus to health anyways when he levels up, so... Ooh, uh, some eggs were hidden over there. Some drill bat eggs. Let's hatch them. I love these little little ricochet. Whoop, whoop. And there's another wind blowing. Nice. And this time we can actually do that stuff. We can blow it around, which is cool. Lots of things are going to be opening for us uh, here now, I believe. So let's go ahead and blow. Do some hand farts. Woo! Perfect. Send this that way. I love, I love it. So fun. I know it's like not that big of a deal, but like it really does just add to the more things we can do, the better. You feel? All right, let's send this one over here. Now we can use that to actually jump up onto this side and get this wind blowing as well. I love the I love that little so cool. Anything hidden over here? You never know. You never know. These developers here are smart, sabotage looking at you. Can we break that? Do I want to? Probably not. Another basket up there. So cool. I don't think we can jump down here. No. I wasn't sure. I feel like they would highlight it just a bit. Look at all those shrooms. Yeah, baby. How are we doing on health? We are looking a little bit spicy for Valir and... Uh, let's actually just go ahead and nourish. And then we'll use a tomato tomato club. I don't really use a lot of these, so let's... Uh, there we go. Get rid of some snacks. We we can cook better ones, right? All right, we got drill bat time. Let's go ahead and sunball the one in the middle. Not enough to kill because again, these are weak to these are weak to physical attacks, not not magic. Oh, so close to defeating that one. Go ahead and boost here. Only one HP. We'll go ahead and take. There we go. Nice job, girl. We have some moon splashing that we have to do here. Let's go ahead and use Valir to take down... Actually, she'll probably just be able to kill this, regardless of the lock. Perfect. Wow, that is a lot of XP to level 5. We need almost 3,800, which is good. I feel like the game, we don't really, I feel like worrying about XP is not really a thing here. We don't really need to consider it or anything. That just leads back down to where we were. I don't know, maybe maybe other people feel differently. Uh, I'd like to grind in my RPGs, especially my turn-based RPGs. Some people don't. I like to, and we will get to the level cap in this game no matter what, because again, completion, right? We're gonna go ahead and use another tomato club here on our boy Zale. And, whoa, she's Louise. Okay, so again, the things we need to do here. Oh, no. All right. Let's actually sunball. That will splash onto all three enemies. And potentially, maybe. Actually, better idea, better idea. Let's go ahead and we'll use Garl to attack this. To break one of those locks. We'll boost so that our sunball is a little more powerful here. And then maybe we'll be able to kill the ants with just one 
And we sure were. All right, we don't have to worry about them summoning. Easy fight then, friends. That timing's hard for me. When it comes from the ground like that, that's tough. Go ahead and probably just be able to kill the drill bat. Oh, one HP. This one, uh, teal drop is super easy. So I'm not, I'm not worried about teal drop at all. Uh, we'll go ahead and let's see. We'll boost on. If we boost on her. She'll be able to. Perfect. We still have two more, so let's go ahead and use Garl to finish the drill bat. And then this will only hit one of the locks on its teal drop, but that's okay. Perfect. And before we finish the fight, why don't we get a fat mending light here? There is a timing here for mending light as well. that I have not achieved yet. We're gonna go ahead and use, uh, Zale should probably actually wrap up this fight here. Perfect. Nice, and we've released the, the we've released the gases. It's so goofy, but I love it though. The animation on that is great. All right, we got both of those windmills spinning. Another door so we can trigger that as well. Maybe this will give us access to the lift as well. Y'all, this game is exquisite. Oh, okay, not the lift, but a ladder. Uh, I believe we've gotten everything from down here. We've done what we can, but there is some backtracking for sure on the floor above. And the music here is... Oh, they've done such a just... I know I keep saying it, but damn. What a wonderful job they've done with this game, y'all. Go ahead and pop this down. Which will give us a nice little lift over there. We do have a save point as well as the miner's break room that we can save in. Uh, but there is more we can do here before we continue, though. So we did see that there were things that we need hand farties for. That we saw there was a door there that we couldn't access. And I think... Now that we have the mine key, we could potentially open that door. Maybe maybe that's the key item that we can use there. So we're this is a little bit of a backtrack, but let's hope that it's worth it. There was also a treasure chest over here. We're just gonna run this way because I don't think there's anything on the top. I think that just led us to a chest that we got super easily. So we'll just go through. This was, I think this whole part was done in the last episode. Uh, and we'll just continue running through here. Yes, okay, so I think, oh, nope here this door let's hope it works mine's key yes 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 okay before jumping down there we do have a little bit of a puzzle to do um let's see if we do okay so we need to figure this out we need both we need both of these to create little blockage for us. So we'll shoot this one down. Reminds me of the... Some people are going to love this, some people aren't, but it reminds me of the... Uh, the ice... The ice... Do you... In, uh, Pokemon, Pokemon games? You know what I'm talking about. Alright, so we'll do that. And then we'll pop this one down. And wub... I'm sorry. Wub bam Okay. <laughs> what? I don't. All right. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't need to do that. Oh, that's gonna. I see. I see. That's gonna create a. I. Go. And then this goes down. Oh yeah. All right. What do we think? Do we think that's gonna finally be Valir's weapon? Or no? go which one do we go the, uh probably this way that looks a little more even right come on found a traitor's signet okay that was not her weapon 
might be of interest to a certain merchant. Okay. Well, I'm sure that will be exciting in the future. <laughs> right now, no, not so much. Worth backtracking for? I'm sure. Let's see if there's anything else, though. This just pushes us out. Good. So I think before we continue, we should take a nice little a nice little uh, nap here. But first, we're going to cook some berry jam just so that we have some MP that we can get back pretty easily. There is a trophy, by the way, for making one of every item, one of every recipe. So that is something to keep in mind. We'll, we'll get that done, I'm sure. All right. Could also save here before we get into any trouble. We made this way that we can now jump over. Sweet. One of these crystals is going to need to go similar to what we did before, right? Actually, that'll just go... Oh, so close. There we go. Easy peasy. And that one will shoot all the way over here. This way, down, over. This is very ice, very ice blocky. Will this work? We'll do do it like this. There we go. That works. Oh yeah, nailed it. Another block to jump up here. And then we can fart on this. Hand fart on that. Alright. We ready for we ready for this? We got we got some equipment. I'm sure this is gonna be Malcomood himself. Still have the adventurers. I could have I could buy their equipment. I just you know, I still feel like we don't need it yet. I don't want to spend that gold if we don't need it. You broke into my fort! Are you Malcomood? Why did you hurt my pet? Uh... It's not fair! Rocky can't know that you're just playing if I'm not there with her! Uh, what is going on? Playing? You're terrorizing the town! It's just to play, but no one else is strong enough! No one ever understands! Did no one teach you about your powers? Magic is not a toy, Malcomood. So you have come to berate me too? I got nothing to tell you! You hurt Rocky! Get out of my fort! Uh-oh. Oh my god, the music here is great. Hello? This is wonderful. Alright, so we have... We could Sunball. We could... We got Salamander and Malcomood. I, I don't know who... We're not going to be able to break a lock on anybody regardless right now. So why don't we just go ahead and... Uh, well, we got to smack... We got to smack Malcomood. We can at least take two of those. He's weak to physical. Good to know. Shovel Might. Shovel Knight. Shovel Might. Oh, he does like the drill bats. That's cool. And then our girl... Valir here is going to boost to hopefully be able to break a little bit of this. Oh, wonderful. Salamander. Oh! Ow! That does some damage. Good to know. Let's focus on Malcolm mode. is weak. Uh, we're actually going to... Let's go ahead and take this first, and then we'll use Sunball here. Sixty-six on Rocky. Oh, that was cool. Cool attack. Really cool attack. Alright, we'll Moonerang on Salamander. Well, it doesn't matter. Again, we want to use our MP. Oh, 
Come on. One of these days, I'm gonna get that damn trophy. Stressing me out. Let's go ahead and nourish on Valir here. Nice. There is a timing for that as well. Uh, we're not gonna be able to break anything, so we're just... Not that I'm too worried about his his spells here, Shovel Might. So cool, though. Oh, tried to get all three there, and I messed up. Press an arc on both. Oop, missed the timing, but that's okay. Nice. We do have Solar Rain that we can do on both of them. Why don't we do that and actually boost as well? And then we'll Solar Rain. I know we could Mending Light, but I think that being a little more offensive is going to be the way to go here. 73 damage to Rocky. Love to see that. Nice. I want to save my boost just a little bit. Until maybe some blocks are there just to break those a little bit better. Oh, whoa. You do what now? Oh, that is sweet. Oh, no. We're not going to be able to do this, though. Yikes. All right. Shoot. We have nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. Well, Garl. Geo Breasts. Woo -hoo -hoo, that does a lot of damage. All right, let's Sunball. Malcolm Mount is now the name of the enemy. All right, we'll Sunball here. Only one enemy here. Uh, I could use an item. Use a Mushroom Soup. But I think we're going to be all right if I just use the Leer. See what they end up doing for an attack here. Oh, did not think they were going to have an AoE attack like that. Yikes. It's Moonerang. Getting a little bit spicy here. That would have been just a little better. Okay. Garl's up. Looking like they're a little bit low on damage here, so what we're going to do is Valir's going to attack. I don't think we'll be able to kill here, so what we'll do instead is we'll use a Mushroom Soup. Nice. One more turn, and our boy Zale will get up. We'll boost here, and this might actually... We're getting close to the end of this fight. I wasn't expecting the AoE, or I would have used Mushroom Soup earlier. All right, there we go. Now that we got that tombo combo, we're totally fine. Totally fine. Go ahead and boost here on Zale. We'll be able to break this lock, no problem. Perfect. And maybe, let's see if Garl can finish this with a solar raid. I trust you, Garl. Oh yeah, 111 damage. 800 experience points. You are very strong. Did people berate you too when you were kids? Is this why you left your village? Listen, Malcomood, you just happen to be born with special powers, and it's a shame no one was able to guide you through that. Huh. Guide me? Everyone just makes fun because I'm not the same. They say, Malcomood can't dig. Well, have you given it a try? It's too boring. I cannot do it like everyone else. Everyone likes it, not me. Every everything was made only for others. When I try, they say, Malcomood's no good. So I give up, and then they say, Malcomood is lazy. I really try, but I don't understand. So I make a fort and show them. 
Aw. It's okay, Malkamood. You don't have to do like everyone else. Carl's right. Normal doesn't have to be your thing. You do you. Huh? You're pretty good with earth magic, aren't you? Yes, I love doing magic with earth and rocks. But everyone says I must not do it. They just don't understand yet. I'm sure you could really help them if you wanted. Huh. Don't you want to try and do good instead? They will only make fun because I am bad with digging. Nah, they just need to see what you can really do. I don't want to show. It's okay, buddy. Take the time you need. Oh, I can stay in the fort? Well, it's yours, isn't it? Right, guys? Totally. Yeah, plus your fort is pretty cool. I like you. Well, then can you do us a favor and agree to stop creating monsters? Rocky is not a monster. Of course not, look at her. You understand. Okay, maybe I will do good if something big need my magic. For now, I'll stay here with Rocky. Thank you, I like you. Take care, Malcomood. Not bad, girl. Ha! <laughs> Sometimes you just need a little positivity. Look at us, restoring peace to a small town. Still no closer to finding a ship, though. Wraith Island. Let's check on the villagers. Surely we can use their lift now. Oh, that was so cute! I'm really glad we didn't have to kill Rocky. Uh-oh. Time is ticking. Is everything on track with the preparations? We will be ready for the eclipse. Ready and excited, too. I fear the sidekick's hesitance might fester. We should get a final confirmation. I will go myself. Three, make sure everything goes smoothly in my absence. Who are these people? Uh, the Solstice Warriors have returned! Oh, Teex is here too. Uh, has the threat been contained? Malcomute agreed to stop clogging the wind tunnels. We are safe! Oh, hooray! You should have mentioned your role in this. I, um, apologies, Sprite Monk. We struggle, indeed, to give proper bearings to one of his, uh, talent. Well, y'all better be more respectful in the future. We might not be here to save you if this happens again. Uh, understood. You have our word and our thanks. Is there anything we could do to repay you? We're looking for a crew of adventurers who might help us sail to another island. Oh! In that case, you will want to visit the port town of Brisk. Feel free to use the big lift to the south. You're the ones who fixed it, after all. A port town? Surely we can find a ship there. It's got all sorts of people. You're bound to find what you're looking for. Oh, I can't wait. There might even be a tavern. Let's try that lift. All right, Garl. Garl's like, I want to get drunk. So the salamander was Malcomoo's pet? What do you mean? It just wanted to play. Thank you so much for helping with Malcomoo. We will definitely watch our tongues in the future. I don't... How do molds sound? Anyways, I want to go back in there, though. Oh, there's people digging now. Thank you for securing the place. You're welcome. We can work without feeling in danger now, thanks to you. Work, 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 work. Uh, looks like we hit this to go down. Oh, we can, like, pet him? That's cute. Thank you again. I like you. Oh, I guess that's it. I like their little... I like his fort. He did a good job. I am, uh, I'm very surprised, though, that there's nothing here. All right, let's continue up, then. I think we've gotten everything we can in this stone mason's area. Surely in the village there will be something we can do. I know that we did see another thing that we can hand fart on. And I think that was over here. Hmm. This is my favorite spot where to play. I like it because the view is pretty. 
Favorite spot where to play. Oh, his brother finished the painting. This person wanted the well. The pump is in there. Probably just needs to be restarted. Would you mind going? I'll see what I can do. In here. Ah, the pump. We saw a device-like pump in one of the rooms. So that's the lift we can use to continue with the actual story. But obviously, we have stuff to do first, folks. Hey, you're the Solstice Warriors. Now that I have my tools back, I can remove the rock that was blocking the road to the fishing lake. Hold on, it won't take long. Ah, even better. So now we have a shortcut. Oh, that is awesome. So make sure to talk to that guy. Because I'm sure that that's actually not done unless you do talk to him. There. The path is now clear. I hope this is of some help to you. Thanks again. I, it is. That's huge. Can't wait to craft teal amber baubles again. All right. So where was the... We were able to go in here. We got all that stuff. We solved that guy's dilemma, his problem. This is the inn over here. I don't think there was anything inside that we could interact with. The elder looks to be up here, doing elder things. Thank you again for helping with Malcolm mode. I promise we'll do better from now on. If you want to go to Briss, you can use the big flying lift to the south of the village. And then there was nothing else in here either. Is it true you thought Malcolm Oates' pet was a monster? Oh, you didn't think so? Things are finally back to normal. I'm just glad my kids are safe. All right. Uh, this was the merchant. Again, I think what we'll do here is I will actually buy all of the relics just so that we have them. We have 350 gold, so... Uh, and let's see what the ones that we got are. So we have removes the 20% damage resistance enemies have while casting. In a shared state of higher focus, party members have a 35% chance to block incoming attacks. Safety layer that still allows the player to time blocks on their own. Yeah, see what I mean? It's, it kind of feels like relics are more for, not necessarily for power, but for accessibility. And I guess, I mean, I guess that is power, right? True Strike Pendant kind of sounds fun, but again, it kind of also feels like removes the 20% damage resistant enemies have. Still feels like an accessibility thing that... I feel like almost all of the relics are accessibility and not actually for... Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but if that's how it feels like to me, and I kind of would want to do it pretty much orderless, uh, or orderless, uh, relicless. Except for the flare one, because I like I like being able to see that on stream on video at least. All right, so the this is where the person was painting, right? This is their studio. Hello, I will show the world that us Mulkins can do more than teal amber carving. Just wait, my best work so far, but I must keep improving. And then this was the this device looks like a pump. Oh, I thought that was the pump for the thing, but. Can at least grab this rainbow conch. We now have what three, I believe, which is exciting. Of course, we're stealing that from this guy. This device looks like a pump of sorts. Surely that's for the well, so that that person can take a bath. I want them to be able to bathe. They stink. All right, what about down here? There was definitely something else to. Ah, there it is. It's like I know there was something else to interact with. Must activate mill. There we go. So that's how we activate the water. Hop out here. There he goes. Hey, you did it. Thanks. I really needed that. Here, for your troubles. Oh, he gives us another. Okay, so rainbow conscience aren't just found in chests. We can actually find them. That is great. That is awesome. So by doing side quests and, uh, you know, doing things for people, that's awesome. <laughs> this guy looks so happy. I love it. Look at his little feetsies. Oh, so cute. All right, friends. That's everything we can do. 
with the uh, with the 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 outpost here. So I think I mean I think that's all we can do at least at the moment. I haven't seen anything else that we can uh, use our hand fart on. We've talked to everybody. We've got everything. Uh, Teeks is back with us, so we do have a story that we can hear back at a camp. So I think the best thing we should do now is head out. Uh, head backwards, anyways, and see what else we can get from the moorlands and all that stuff. So this path is now open. So we can get back. We can go to the Windy Lock, although I don't think we really need to. Uh, and I don't think there was anything at Extral's Landing for us using our newfound abilities. You could pop back in there just to grab some of the resources that have now shown up, but you don't actually... You don't really need to. So we're going to use this moorlands here, which should be another shortcut, because the rock was actually blocking the way before. We want to definitely backtrack a little bit here and see if we can use all... Oh, he tried. See if we can use our, our hand farts to get through here and claim some of these extra items, especially that rainbow conch that we saw, which I believe was back this way. I wonder what the faster way of getting over... Okay, this was where it was. Perfect. So we can grab... We can push this now. And then I think what we want to do... Yes, we actually want to push it up there. Which will create a thing for us, and then we can grab that. Awesome. Found another rainbow conch. So we now have four rainbow... Five rainbow conches. Oh my gosh. We're cruising. And I think that was the only hand fart we could do. So let's uh, head back to the stonemasons area so that we can use the lift and go south. And back on the world map, we're actually going to go ahead and set up a camp here. And this way we can talk to our heroes. Felt good using our powers to help. With the big lift operational, we can get to Briss now. Carl? It's not fair how people have been treating Malcomud. Good thing we fixed the big lift in the Mole Canal post. I can't wait to see Brisk. And Teeks has a new story for us. Hey, want to hear a story? Yes. So we heard the Vesper time. Now we want to hear the Great Summoning. What few people know today is that Kunu's Nuku had already been banished by the time the Great Summoning happened. The channeling had begun months prior, back when the lizard folk still had the upper hand. It was toward the end of the decades-long battle after it became clear that the Molkin mages would be the victors. On this night of nights, the air carried early cries of victory across the archipelago. Suddenly, the very sky tore open and a giant sky serpent emerged to wreak havoc. To this day, historians argue about the origins of the Sky Serpent. Some say it is a monster of pure evil stolen from another plane of existence and forced to remain here. Others believe it came from above the clouds, a once friendly creature that had its mind corrupted by dark magic. But regardless of its origins, the Sky Serpent was set to change the world forever. Back in the time of the Ovates, the ritual of the elements could have been performed to control the Sky Serpent's mind. But alas, the Ovates were long gone. Earth magic being their only strength at hand, the Mulkin Elementalists devised a plan to contain the threat. By carving intricate wind tunnels straight into Extel's mountain, they turned it into a giant musical instrument. Blowing through the mountain, the wind started playing a melody so pure, it forced the Sky Serpent into slumber. The magic was strong, and it was believed that the world would remain safe for generations. Or rather, for as long as the mountain played the melody true. For the greater good, the Molkin gave up on their study of magic and established an outpost atop the mountain. Over generations, they became expert miners, living by a pledge to keep the wind tunnels operational. The brave Molkin have toiled around the clock ever since, protecting the world one pickaxe strike at a time. Despite centuries of stability, stories say that the magic enchantment on the wind tunnels will eventually fade away. One can only hope that the Ovates will return before then. The End Ooh, cool story. All right. There is another trophy for listening to all of the stories in the camp, so definitely going to do that. 
Back to the stonemason's outpost, and we're gonna use the lift to continue on. I love the music here. Oh gosh, it's so cute. All right, lift time. I think we got everything. We're ready to go. And if there's a tavern, there'll be a chef. So maybe I can learn a special recipe or something. Oh. Garl, check it out. No way. You've been wanting to see the sleeper since you were a kid. How does it feel? Oh, like all my summer days are happening at the same time. <laughs> the adventure life is the best life. We're almost there. Get ready for a swim. Wait, what? That is so cool, though. Look at him. Wow. All right, we got the Coral Cascades, which I believe is Mitsuda, Yashinori Mitsuda, the same composer that did Chrono Trigger, uh, I believe Chrono Cross, Xenoblade 2 and 3. Uh, this is, I believe, his first track. Okay. All right. Oh, man. Look at already already beautiful. Guess that's what they meant by going for a swim, eh? Wow. Wowzers! What does this say? Looking for a boat? Head over to the port town of Brisk and meet Captain Cliche's <laughs> Cliche's crew. I don't care if that's how you pronounce it. That is how I pronounce it. Look at that. We get a chest with pirate garb. Oh, come on, that's gotta be for Garl, right? Yes, probably used. Look at how much that adds to him. Oh, we could use that on other, we could use that on Zale and Valir as well, but we're gonna, that's definitely gonna go on, it's definitely gonna go on our boy Garl. We got some wheat to pick up. Oh, what a beautiful track. What a beautiful area, so different than the mine we were just in. That is so cool. What is this though? Whoa, Kay. Uh, dope. Nothing in this waterfall. You're not the best game of all time unless you have something hidden behind a waterfall. Can we all agree on that? Anyways, friends, this is a wonderful time to save the game. And next time on Sea of Stars, we will head to Brisk. I think we are we still have this area to go through, the, the Coral Cascades, and I feel like this is a wonderful time to stop. So in the next episode, we will go through the Coral Cascades, see what we can find, see how beautiful it is, and then, and then, we get to finally go to Brisk and meet Captain Cliche and Captain Cliche's crew which I'm sure is going to be just an absolute delight. Hey, thank you all so much for watching. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres. I sincerely appreciate you. Huge shout out to those of you leaving likes and comments as well. It really does help me out. Let's continue to try to make this series successful. I hope you're enjoying it. I know I am. And I'll see you all in the next episode of Sea of Stars. Remember, never give up, never surrender to Malcolmood. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>